Okay, so this is a series of movements that teaches your body to yield into the bottom position of squat. So that both includes like the neurological skill component of learning to yield as well as the physiological uh, adaptations you need to do that. So in the first tier, which is just the lowest intensity movements, we've got regular bodyweight squats, we've got these pulsing squats, and we've got these pulsing squats with a tiny little jump and just a little bit of air time just to start to introduce a bit of impulse and a little bit of force. Next up, uh, next in our tier two, we've got regular jump squats. And in this tier, there's a bit, of, bit more flight time with a lot more variability in movements. And all the different uh, movements we're looking at are just teaching different bits of rhythm, different bits of timing, all with that same aim of teaching yielding relaxation in the bottom of the squat. So these are sort of locomotive, locomotive ones with a pulse and as you do these you start to learn to anticipate the ground and to change your, the position of your body in the air. So you can see with the lateral pulses that I start to push my feet further out to the side so I can really more aggressively uh, anticipate and change direction. So in these ones where I transition from going backwards to forwards, you'll notice uh, landing on the toes before coming back forwards, so I'm better orientated to use force that direction. And tier three, we've got more power, bigger movements, higher impacts, and everything you can think of with more force, more rotation, more vectors. So 